Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, brand new week, and today we're going to be doing pack 6 of the Agora Models release, a build, the RMS Titanic. Now we're going to be doing stages 27 to 32 in this and once again this is only available in certain territories and from what I understand it's not going to be available for too much longer so uh, check your territory I know it's definitely in North America and Canada so you'll be able to uh, have a look on site for that but in today's pack we do get a free gift and check this out this is a great pocket watch here so uh, I have already set it to the right time so continuity wise it's probably going to be all over the place but uh, this is what that little pocket watch looks like as you can see it's half nine in the morning at the moment and on the other side you've got a picture of the titanic and obviously it says titanic in the dial there so what do you reckon do you reckon i could uh sport a pocket watch have it on a chain you know i'll be like willy fog looking uh what the time is <laughs> i don't know it's quite a good thing i said the way it works is just basically you pull the top up to set the time uh, it is battery operated so that um the batteries run out you're going to need to get a watchmaker just to uh undo that and replace the battery could have a go yourself i suppose uh, but today we are actually going to be doing all of the engines so even though i have got the hole here with some of the uh the uh, voxel deck here um we're not going to need that we're just going to be doing the engines so without further ado let's get cracking So, all going to start with stage 27. Once again, this is the magazine, and you get the magazine for every part here. And as you can see, we're going to be starting to do the second engine, and this is where it's all going to start from. So, I always do find that if they've laid them out in a specific way in the pictures, to lay them out on your workstation exactly like they've got them. So, I'm going to do that now. Now, these parts here are symmetrical, and all we're going to do is just link these forks into that so one's going into one end and the middle one's going into the other end there so it looks just like that we're going to repeat that for the other three now the other little clips we've got here these have a larger semicircle and a smaller semicircle it's the smaller one we want which is just going to go onto the back of this section and once again it's just a clip in so it looks just like that again do that for the other three we could just put them to one side now and bring over the cylinders and they are labeled so l6 i've got here l7 goes to the left of that l8 here and l5 here so it's going eight seven six five and basically we're going to be putting this into place onto this metal structure here so it kind of fits in like that if i put them all in give you an example it has got a locating lug hole in there so this one's going to go in like that this one over here there you go they're in loosely there but we do want to secure these into place and we're doing that with bm screws once again this is going into metal so all of my screws have been put in oil that you want to make sure they're in tight and there's no wobbling around for those but with this and these sections we've made here that's all there is to do in that stage just turn to the back as you can see we've got the other side of this to put into place pretty much similar to what we've just done so by the end of it it's going to look just like that now slightly different this time we're going to be taking these little rods here and plugging these in behind it so the open end of the semicircle is going to look like that and this is going to swing this way so the open end of the semicircles are facing the other one the same way so they look just like that there i'm going to do that for all the rest of them the good thing about doing these is that if you've got one right it's so uh, repetitive you should be able to get the others right no problems at all but that's those four done put them to one side and then once again we're going to be laying out the cylinders this time it's going to go five six seven and eight so there's six that one's eight that one's five and that one's seven five six seven eight and then just like last time we're going to be putting these 
onto this section here and securing them down with BM screws. And there you go with them in place. And these parts that we've already created there, that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 29 here, as you see, we've got the crankshaft uh, for the second engine. Lots of pieces going together here now. So then when all of this is in together, look, the instructions go on for ages for this one. It's going to look just like that, really coming together now. The first thing I want to do is take the crankshaft here, and it's this end that I want to be on my left here. Now, the little things that we made, or little rods here that we made in the last pack, we're going to pretty put in these into place, and they actually go underneath these sections so we're just clipping them in from the underside so that's one miss one and then put the second one in here then miss two and the next one's going to go in there and then miss one and the last one is just going to go onto the end here so if i lay them all out it's looking like that so the columns that we made right at the very start, they're the ones that I need. They look like this. Lay them down. I'm going to put this exactly like you see here into the little grooves on each side. So lining everything up here. I've just remembered what I did last time when I did this. If you get yourself some tweezers and put them underneath that can hold that crankshaft there, then it will make things a lot easier for you to get these all into place. But that is looking pretty good. They're all where they need to be. Then I'm gonna take the other side of this and pin these into place. So once you've got it like that and you've confirmed that all the cylinders move perfectly in there, I'm just gonna turn it round so again that this little edge here is on my left. And I'm gonna be putting in these cylinder tops which are just going in here. And this is gonna keep these closed together. So one this side, we've got a bigger one on the other side here. They are lined up because there's thicker lugs in each one of these. So it'll tell you which way around they go. Just like that. We've got a medium sized one going into the second cylinder there. And then a really tiny one going into the third cylinder. And then in the last two spots here, we've got these little tops to go on. And again, they are located with large and small lugs. So we know which way around they're going. One in that side and one in that side. So they sort of follow the bend around like that. We can put that to one side. And now we're gonna be bringing up this shaft. Again, this is a plasticky sort of material. And we're going to be adding these that we created right at the start just to the channels that we can see in the middle here. So one here, just over the top they're going in. One next to it. It's the smaller end here that we're putting in. One here. And then just one at the back there. So now that looks like that. If we turn this over so that the semicircular areas here are pointing upwards. We're going to be mounting this to the crankshaft and these are going in all the positions that haven't got a rod on. So they're coming in from this way. So get these clipped in. That's one. That one's two. push from the head, not from the shaft. That one's free. And again, just this one at the end here. That one's four. So now they are all in place there. We can now bring this whole thing up, show you this. And then where we've got these lugs here, they're gonna plug into the holes that we can just see on that side there. You do wanna make sure they're quite secure in there. I think I'm gonna use my hammer just to help. There you go. And there we go. That's that in place like that. So we've got these little brackets now that we're going to be putting in. 
Okay, we've got some clips here that we need to put in. They can only go in one side. So this one's going to go in this side just here. And then that will rest on the top there. And then we have got this blank section here, which is going to go over the top. And that's held in with a CM screw. It goes in with the closed side, this side here, to stop that coming out. And I'll screw that into place. Now on the other side, exactly the same, put this clip in. And then this time we've got this end to put on top. That way round, and again held in with CM screws. But I do have a flywheel to put on, which has got a little D-shaped pattern in it. So it's going to dictate what way round it's going to go. And it's going to fit onto the end just here, which is the end that we've been keeping on our left. Just like that. It does want a little bit of glue in there to keep that in place. So I'm just going to drop a tiny bit of glue just into there. Hold that in for a second. And there we go. And that, at the moment, is all there is to do in that stage. That was a long stage, wasn't it? So <laughs> stage 30, we're going to be putting the base frame together. On this so it's going to look just like that so by the end the engine's going to be mounted so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking the engine here and we have got this section here with this end these ends here need to go towards the flywheel and quite simply this is just going to be going over the top of this section like this ready to fit into place now it's going to be held in with four em screws so just in the end here this is the first one one the other side, but I'm going to put the other side in first. Same position, just at the other side though, over here. And there you go, that's that base on. Now it's probably a good time to actually just turn the flywheel and make sure that the cylinders go up and down, no problems at all. As you can see, there shouldn't be any resistance in that at all. Excellent. We then want to take the metal base here and this edge here is going to be going on this side. So this is going to be going over the top, just like this, and lock into position. We're going to hold that in with four FM screws. And those screws are in these holes, one, two, three, four. So I'll get all these in. And then in the other six holes that we've got here, we're going to be putting AP screws. That's ensuring this base is never coming off. <laughs> Okay, it's time for me to deviate from the instructions now because we have got these four exhaust valves which go into the tops of each section here. I'll just put one in, they're gonna be glued in. They're looking like that, but because we're still working on the engine, there's a good chance I'm gonna break these. So I'm gonna put them in afterwards. I'm gonna keep them to one side. The last thing we do uh, have to put in is just this little detail here. That's going on to this side here. It is gonna be held in just with a little bit of glue. So I'll just do a dry fit first. That's how it's gonna look. So I'll add some glue to that. So that's in place, but that is completed minus the valves, which I'll put on later on. So that moves us swiftly onto stage 31. As you can see, we are still working on the uh, engine here. We've got a lot of trim panels and hoses to put on, which are gonna go onto all these sections, quite a bit to do, so by the end of it, it's gonna look just like that. How impressive is that looking? Now I need to bring up the engine that we built on the first few packs here. Now this is the port engine. I know that because it hasn't got that detail we put in at the end of the last stage. So I'm gonna keep that to my left. And as you see, this one has got the detail. So that one's gonna be the starboard on my right there. Uh, the way I'm gonna remember it is the starboard engine hasn't got the valves in. <laughs> so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting all of these gangways here into the little channels that we can see just on the end. Now they need to fit perfectly flush in there. So if I had to put one in just on the end, which is gonna be the easiest one, they need to be straight and not leaning in towards the cylinder rods. Otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. We are gonna be gluing these into place. So I'm gonna get some glue together and take my time and do these on each side here and then each side on the other side. So altogether, I'm gonna have eight in the port side engines. So I'm loading the glue up, and I think this is probably gonna be a case 
of speeding up the video. takes absolutely ages but as you can see I've got four in there now I'm going to do the ones on the other side and there you go that's all of them in all perfectly straight so they're not impeding the uh, cylinders there but that took an absolute age we're now going to be putting a couple of these details in which are going into if I just do a dry fit first into that hole just there and then I've got another detail to put in which is going on the hole just behind it. I'm putting all of these in dry at the moment. Now this is a D-shaped uh, pattern. So I'm just gonna push this on in as well. So now that looks like that. And then finally, now I'm gonna make a hand wheel. You do wanna make sure you put this in the right way round so that it has got a little D-shaped uh, slot at the bottom. So when this goes in, the wheel is going to be facing outwards. So again, I'll just show you what this looks like. Just like that there. So I'm going to glue all of that into place. So we're still working on this engine. What I want to do is look at the starboard side of this, which is this way round. And I've got this pipe here looking like that. Bit of glue. It's just going to go into these points underneath here. One, two, and three. So... I'll get that into place. There you go, that looks like that. I've then got this shorter pipe, which is going into a hole just down the bottom here. And then on the side of this cylinder here. So I'll get this in, that looks good, that's in. There like that. Got this massive pipe now, which is gonna go into these two points just here. Now these are steam pipes, and it's saying I may need to remove some flash to get these in, but I'll have a go and just see if it goes in on its own. One's in. This one's got a little bit of flashing on. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And that's the second one in as well. See what I mean about these valves on the top? They can be a little bit tricky, but there we go, that's in place. The next pipe I've got to go in looks just like this. And there's some holes just on the cylinders here where this is actually gonna go. So again, I'm gonna just drop some glue into those. What a very detailed stage. Put that in. It's only uh, held in by three spots, even though I've just put four dabs of glue in there. <laughs> Typical. There we go. So now that looks like that. Turn this round. And on the other side here, I've got some more steam pipes to put in. This time they're going to be going into these two holes here and two holes there. So again, get some glue. I can't believe how detailed this stage is. There you go. Push this in. Couple more pipes here to put in. So again, just going to put some glue 
into the tiny hole here on this side and the same on the other side it's this one now that's going in with the little bend in it And then the last pipe is actually just going to go into the holes here with the longer bend end going around this way. So this is going to go in kind of like that there. So once again, I'll just put some glue just into these holes. So that's everything in on that side. What an amazing stage that was. But that is the port engine and that's all there is to do in that stage. In the last stage for this pack, stage 32, we're adding on to what we've already done. As you see, we've got a lot more pipe work and detail to put on. So by the end of it, this is actually going on to the engine bay that we've been created last time. So it looks just like that. So apparently we're doing some sort of... Uh, the first element to be assembled and fitted is the auxiliary engine for the port replicating engine. So I'm just going to get all the parts out for that. So I've just opened every single pipe bag I've got here to try and figure out what I'm actually using. But the first thing I need is this little pipe like this here. That is going to be going into the front of this little detail here. Kind of like that. So I'm going to put some glue into place so this stays where it needs to be. Up to now, this build was quite uh, easy going. I do think that this pack has upped its game a bit so there we go that's that pipe in there like that i've got a tiny detail which i'm putting on this end here so i'm gonna put some glue just on the end there and push this detail into place now this is shaped so it can only go in one way but when that's in it should look like that Bring over the engine, the port engine that we've been working on. And we do have two lugs on here which are going to go into the holes that we can see there. A little bit of glue to help me. There we go, that's in place. I've now got this walkway to put in which is going to go along this edge here. I have zoomed up, or zoomed out the camera a bit. So again I'm going to put some glue just into these slots at the side. can't wait to take a thumbnail picture for this because this engine's so detailed and then push this in just holding that into position for a second just to allow the glue to dry that looks good there we go now this larger pipe here is going to be going onto this side of the cylinder where the pipes are so again I'm just putting some glue just into here it's going to go around this way and the lugs do locate which way around this goes. Just like that. These pipes here, and I need this bent pipe which is going to go into this socket here. I'm not gluing this at the moment until I can figure out which way round it goes. I think it goes like that. So I think the best way to do is to put this part into position first. So we want the side with the walkway on and it's just going to go onto the top of the cylinder here. So let's get that glued in first because this part's going to be static. And then I'm going to put some glue into either side of the pipe here so I can get this into place. So this end's going to go in here and the other end is going into the end of that pipe so it looks like that now another big detail here which again i'm just going to load up some glue is going just into the tiny socket just down the bottom it has got again a shaped lug so put this in push that down so now that looks like that put that to one side because we're assembling another little tiny piece now so I'm just grabbing the parts that I need for this 
And for the first time in a while, we're actually going to be using some screws on this to get these ones in. So they do have a little keyhole pattern on the end. This one's going on this side. So it's going to go in like this, screwed in with an EP screw and tighten that up. Do the same on the other one, which again has got a keyhole pattern. And then I'm just going to grab some glue and there's a couple of little holes here. Lend them up a little bit of glue. Where I'm going to be pushing this little tiny detail here. I'll get this in. Excellent. So now that whole piece looks like that. Now I need this pipe and this tiny piece here. These are getting smaller. Put some glue just on the end of this so that then I can put this pipe into this section. It's got a hole, so they're all facing the same way. So it looks like that. And then the base of this pipe is actually just going to go down into the section we've just been working on here, in here, like that. So again, I probably will just put a little bit of glue just to keep that into place. It is a D-shaped hole, so it can only go in one way. Just lie that down gently, because I've got another pipe to create. Now that one has got this bend in it. And again, I've got a detail to put on the end. Tiny detail looking just like this, which I'm just going to slot in. But now I know how that goes, it's probably best to actually slot this detail in to where it goes first onto this unit here it's just going to go into there so i will just drop a bit of glue in that first then put the pipe in afterwards again there's a little d-shaped pattern on here so it will only let you put it in one way excellent so now i can get this pipe and again little bit of glue just like that very very fiddly now in the hole that we've got left at the top this detail is insane I've got a little sort of let me pick this up with my uh, tweezers a bit that looks like this but again it has got a d-shaped pattern on the end Oh, my fingers just don't want to touch this now but that looks like that okay i need to bring over the engine floor now do you remember this that looks just like that i've got a piece to put in which looks just like this again it's got a keyhole pattern just in front of this section here so this is going to slot in only one way just like that and that's held in with an fp screw from the other side if i just get that in there Perfect. Now on the interior side of this, I've got what we've just created, and that's going into that keyhole slot just there. I've been mean, very gentle to get that in there. You've got to line up the pipes while you're doing this as well. So I've got my tweezers to help just bend them into position. There we go. And that is fitting absolutely perfect. Now this one needs to go in with an EP screw. Probably best to let the screw pull this down. You don't want to push on any of those details there, but that's in. I'm just going to straighten that wire up there. Excellent. So that's looking just like that. Now, tidy detail just to put on this hole here, which just goes into this hole here. Like that. And then just in front of that little D-shaped hole here, I've got this pipe, which is going in. That looks good. <laughs> that looks like that. Another D-shaped hole just underneath that pipe here to put this detail. So again, I'm gonna use my tweezers just to help line this up. Get this in the correct way. excellent which means i've got one part left over i'm just going to see where that part is the part that i haven't put in yet is 32n so i'm just going to have a quick look back and see where that goes ah right okay 
32N, the last piece I've got just goes in front of this detail here. You're probably all shouting at me. <laughs> Again, a little D-shaped pattern so it can only go in one way. But that's imperfectly just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. That was crazy to do. Absolutely crazy. Crazy it may have been, but you know what? I absolutely love that. And look at the detail on this port side engine now. Look. Wow. <laughs> that looks really good. Now, once again, if you are in a North American territory or a territory where you can get this, uh, check out the Agora Models website and you'll be able to get that for yourself. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.